Hello everybody, happy first video of December. I am very, very excited because today we are kicking my first video of December off with something festive. This is a video that I love filming and I know you guys love it too. So today we are gonna be choosing my Christmas outfit, my New Year's outfit, all of my party outfits. I have a very big selection here for you and I hope some of you get some Christmas party outfit inspo or New Year's outfit inspo or even inspo for a winter wedding, which is something a lot of you have been asking me for recently is can you do an updated version of your wedding guest dress edit but a winter version so I thought I would kind of combine this video and make it a little bit of a multitasker so it's going to contain some outfits that are great for festive dressing but there's going to be a few that I kind of sideline as these are fab for if you were going to a winter wedding as well not all of them are going to be ideal for a winter wedding but I will tell you which ones I think are perfect as a side note if you haven't seen the original wedding guest dress edit I will link that for you guys if you have any spring summer weddings coming up that you kind of already you want to get inspo for and you're planning just very ahead I will link that and then I'm also going to link my birthday what was the video called <laughs> my choosing my birthday outfits video because there are actually a fair few dresses in that, that I felt worked quite well for a winter wedding but I tried not to re-show things so everything in this should be hopefully completely new up to date hopefully still available but with the rate things are flying out of stock at the moment you just never know and also as a quick disclaimer before we get started just regarding the winter wedding guest edit number one i'll do a blog post full of all different dresses for different heights different kind of like situations different wedding vibes because i understand it's so difficult to pick you kind of have to go off of your location off of your like specific wedding that you're going to the vibe your bride and groom might be dictating certain things like whether it is black tie or whether it's casual also in the blog post i will pop in a few tips for wedding guest dressing. I won't go through them here again right now because I'm sure lots of you that watch regularly have already heard them. Also, I've had a lot of people asking on how to stay warm whilst wearing dresses and that is a tough one. What I would say is thermal tops underneath if you can do it. A big fluffy coat in a neutral colour will work so well. Those little faux fur kind of like shawl things will work really well as well. Just go for that real 1920s glam vibe if the wedding is appropriate for that. Like say it's in like a big kind of like manor house, that kind of vibe. With warmth in mind, I have tried to make as many of these long sleeved as possible. There are a couple of dresses that I think you would be able to get a thermal top or body underneath if you did want the extra layer. But yeah, staying warm in a dress is hard and I don't really have many tips other than thermal. I mean, I say this, I'm just cold. If you just see me in a dress and I'm outside and it's winter, I'm just cold. I don't have a magic trick. Oh, and in terms of styling with accessories, I'm pretty certain every single dress or piece in this edit works with a black bag, black shoes, or sparkly bag, sparkly shoes, that kind of vibe. So if you go for any of these dresses, hopefully accessorizing is gonna be pretty painless for you. But anyway, number one. It's so sparkly. I love this dress. This is from Lorna Luxe's in the style range. It comes with a little tie waist. It's long sleeved. It's actually really nice and thick as well. It's got a, like a lining on the inside, which is fab. This is just absolutely gorgeous. It comes in blue, like a cyan kind of cyan mm, no like a sky blue and a cream as well and the cream is also lovely but i thought this one was perfect especially if you have a winter wedding and the vibe is like very glam very jewel toned this one would be absolutely gorgeous i got it in a size eight and it is very big very flowy so i think it will work really really well on a lot of different figures and the length is really good as well the tie waist you can kind of like ruch it up a little bit so great for shorter girls but also if you are a bit taller i'd say just a little bit above average height i don't have personal experience in being tall so take everything with a pinch of salt but you'll be able to see on me i think it will cover like a range of different heights it's also got padded shoulders which i really like it really helps to kind of like give you a little bit more of an hourglass silhouette it makes your waist look very very small it makes your hips look smaller which i really love so i think this is going to be a real winner it's just such a beautiful dual tone as well this dress is so cute i've gone for a little side bow but you could also put it in the middle and the way it falls actually can help hide a food baby really, really well yeah it's so lovely fits really nicely i love the long sleeves on it and they're bell sleeves as well so it's really going to retain the heat on the dress and i've just styled it with my ysl black velvet clutch and then the suede tribute platform sandals as well these are very high but i love them because they really elongate my leg and especially with something that has more of a relaxed fit like this i thought it'd be really nice to have that elongation of the leg and in terms of jewelry i just kept it very minimal this dress is doing all of the talking so i've just kept my hoop earrings and my necklaces very simple nothing too sparkly at all yeah that is the dress it's very cute the one thing i would recommend is hair up 
with a dress like this normally just because I do find hair kind of not gets caught but like gets moved about by the sequins but other than that this is such a cute dress so perfect Christmas parties I think it'd be lovely if you had a more glam winter wedding as well however this might be up stock by the time this video goes live but needle and thread also do a really beautiful version of this just without the tie waist i have it i love it it's a little bit longer on me but victoria from in the fro she has it wears it all the time and it looks incredible on her and she is that little bit taller as well and i'm pretty sure i see her wearing it every single christmas but i also think they bring it back every year which is great as well so if you're looking to spend a little more and you don't mind not having a tie waist that one would be perfect i almost forgot to show you the length of this dress without the tie waist so bear with me i literally have bare feet but yeah just so you can see how long it is on someone that's five foot two it's very very long i don't think it's the most flattering length for me without that tie waist so if you are shorter i would definitely recommend choosing something that does cinch you in a little bit even if it's like a separate black belt that you find on the high street whether it's sparkly or maybe it's like a black velvet with a nice gold buckle but if you're taller a dress like this would be incredible even without the tie waist all i really have to say about this video is i hope you guys like green this is another one from lorna's in the style range i actually have a similar version to this but like the summer version which came in a white and blue print and it was gorgeous this is one of the skirts that they do in the collaboration where there's almost like a slight structuring around the hem so it really like puffs out it's, it gives the most beautiful silhouette it feels very feminine it took a little bit of getting used to at the start but actually i absolutely loved wearing my summer one so i decided to pick up this gorgeous like satin effect green version for the winter it is a little bit different i would say the sleeves aren't full length like the summer one but they are still very long and it's all lined on the inside as well so you do get a little bit of extra warmth which is great because your chest is not covered you could also get away with tights and a cute very slim line ankle boot with this i think and i would say the same for the sparkly green dress as well but yeah absolutely beautiful comes with like a tie sash thing that goes around the waist to really cinch you in that one i would really jazz up with all of the sparkly accessories so wasn't sure on this one at first so i kept the little navely thing in however i love this one it has pockets for one which instantly makes it amazing number two love the silhouette it gives it's so cute it's giving me a real like tinkerbell vibes and i really like it i love the fact that the shoulders are stretchy here so you can position them further up if you want you can bring it out to like sit because they're like stretchy they can sit exactly on your shoulder point you could have it off shoulder and it works really well especially because this there's the button here which means that you can have it just kind of like more unstructured or you can pin it so that it like doesn't move and the having it pinned is actually very useful for if you wanted to wear it off shoulder because it basically like holds it all together and holds it in place and keeps you a little bit more secure. Se secure. Anyway, I've just paired it with this little pearl clutch that I have, which is very like Jimmy Choo vibes. We all love that vibe. And then I've gone for my Zara sparkly sandals. And the reason I've gone for these two is because the dress is kind of shorter and lighter. I wanted to give you a coat option with this and these accessories work perfectly with the coat. So this is my coat option. To be honest, this is my coat option for every like dress in this video purely because I just feel like this one goes with everything i absolutely love it it's really nice and warm but without being too warm and too heavy and it is just the perfect coat for this time of year in the uk i find that it tends to be fairly dry so you can get away with your faux fur now whilst it's just cold but not particularly rainy and then as we move closer and closer towards spring it's just not faux fur coat weather so i like to make the most out of my faux fur coats over christmas and i just think they're so glam and christmas can be such a glam occasion to pair perfectly together so yeah this is my little green play suit look i forget to say this is actually a play suit as well so really great for like a night out if you want to like make sure you're a little bit more secure it's really fun it's just a slight nightmare to get in and out of so if you're consuming a lot of liquid maybe not the best unless you have like a really good mate at hand to do the bow back up every time you want to be then one for the christmas parties we have this gorgeous little black mini dress from zara and i just love these tassels it's just giving me a little bit of a 1920s vibe and i think it is so cute it's just really simple on the length of the dress it's not too thick so it's not really going to be doing much cinching it's actually got like i would say a slight a-line shape to it and it's not going to give you a lot of warmth either but with a black blazer thrown over the top i think this would be stunning and such a fun little one which you could again dress up with lots of sparkly accessories too oh my god this dress is so fun this dress would be 
near perfect in my eyes if it weren't for the fact that the straps unfortunately are not adjustable it sits at an okay point but i would love to just bring it up a fraction because then you wouldn't be able to see my bra peeping through at the sides every so often you just get a glimpse of it not even too much it's not that bad but it does just i think you can see here you can just see it sits a little bit loose because the straps are just a little bit looser sadly but other than that i love the dress i love this detail across the chest i think it's so fun i've kind of like matched my earrings to it you could maybe go for something a little bit more simple that's maybe like one string of the uh sparkly bits and then i've gone for my zara sparkly shoes as well i really like how the sparkles on the strap run straight across it's almost like mirroring the lines that we've got running down from the chest i think it works really really nicely and then because the dress and the earrings and the shoes are so sparkly i've just gone for hair down again just to give it a little bit more of a relaxed like casual vibe for those of you that don't love dresses we've got a very cute little short and body vibe which i've picked out this body is really gorgeous it's like a high neck velvet body with a kind of like opening across the chest but it doesn't go down here which i really hate because then if my boobs are like super pushed up you can just see like the line of my cleavage it's not cute i don't know why brands do it it goes across like this and i think it's kind of cool is it necessary no could they have just left it out yes absolutely and i still would absolutely love this body do i mind it that much that i wouldn't wear it absolutely not it's got shoulder pads long sleeves this would keep you so nice and warm i love a velvet body in the winter because they do keep you really toasty even toasty if it didn't have the uh, opening across the chest and i picked it out to go with these shorts which i have not done up that's annoying there we go i had to hunt these shorts down people i actually had to go into store and search for them because they weren't available online and i desperately wanted them for this look these are so cool these are so cool these are giving me like jimmy choo hayley bieber vibes where she wears like the pink shoes pink bag and then the sparkly shorts and a body and i really wanted to recreate that look i got these in an extra small they actually fit so well so you can definitely size down in these like i would recommend it because if i'd have got the small these sit on your waist and it would have been gaping it would have sat too low just looked way too long and really really weird these look like a lovely high-waisted short on me so yeah really glad i sized down would defo recommend that okay so everyone has to let me know what they think of my shoe choice with this option because i'm not sure but i wanted to give you something a little bit different to the other shoes that i'm going to be wearing throughout this video and i thought these could work really well with this outfit this kind of shoe as well is also a great option for those of you who i know are out there who don't like wearing heels and in terms of other accessories with this look i've gone with my ysl clutch i've also gone for a little black bow in my hair the black bow is from h&m and i just think it works really nicely with this look this is what the body looks like up close so we've got the opening at the back opening at the front but like i said it's to the side so you don't get that awkward little cleavage line here we've got a little embellished shoulder which i just love i've gone for sparkly hoop earrings these are from asos I bought them at the beginning of 2020 and they used to come with a pearl on them but you could take it off so i've just taken it off and i am loving wearing these at the moment i think they work really really well for this time of year and the shorts are gorgeous but a little secret for you i actually wear these back to front which might sound really strange especially because it has pockets and the pockets then go the wrong way and i will never put anything in the pockets obviously because of that but if they were around the front would i put things in them still no but these shorts actually have more room at the front they're that kind of like paper bag style almost where they like jut out but then there's no give at the back the back was basically flat these were not made for someone with a bum but spin them back to front and work a treat so i have the almost hot pants style short at the front but the caters my tush and that's fab you can really like layer up as much as you like with this you could also do a white shirt with the shorts which would also look so cool i might have to do that that could be the christmas day look but with the bow next up if you love a blazer i picked out this really cute velvet blazer dress now this i think is my least favorite of the lot just because it is very very low cut and doesn't give you the option to button it up any higher so you have to love a little bit of like low cut tailoring for this one it's got a zip back to help you get into it and help it like cinch in I got this in a size small and it was 59.99 it is very nice and warm and it's got like the whole padded shoulder vibe long sleeve really nice 
thick skirt so this is a good one i would say for the winter time and especially if you do pin like the collar slightly further up it will keep you a little bit warmer however because it is thicker i would say this one doesn't lend itself particularly well to layering under a coat like i have a long white faux fur coat which a lot of these dresses would look so fab underneath but this one actually would definitely be too thick to go underneath mine but this one would look amazing with a thick black pair of tights and a gorgeous pair of black boots maybe with a pointed toe you don't even have to have a heel necessarily but they would it would look killer with a heel but yeah it's really really beautiful i might show it to you with tights if i can get the tights on without murdering them okay so this is the black blazer dress on i stand by this one is not my favorite i really don't love how low the blazer cut comes down i don't really know how to explain that especially with no hooks to be able to pin it further up i just think that doesn't really work for everyone it's not particularly practical whilst it is so warm it is just so open there's no way of adjusting it and i don't really rate that the length is nice but again i wish that this tie at the front was real so that i could actually bring it in a little bit more bring it up a little bit more that would be ideal so basically this one's not for me however if you're taller i think this one would be an incredible option because the opening would sit higher up the waistline would also sit slightly higher up as well and then the hemline would be slightly higher too so i think this is a great option for the tall peeps out there not for me so much but that's okay we can't win a next dress lots of you will have seen already i love this dress so much this is from zara it looks so weird when you just hold it up because of all the ruching but this is like an off shoulder ruched mini dress and it is beyond stunning and i'm going to show you the look that i paired with this because it's probably one of my favorite looks of the entire year. This outfit for me is just everything. It is so, so cute. It's a little bit 80s, like I would say like late, I wanna say late 80s, I mean, I wasn't around, so I really can't say that as a fact, but it feels like a little bit of an 80s vibe for me, a decade in fashion that I am always so sad that I actually didn't get to see because I live for it. I genuinely live for it. But I'm really glad it's come back around because this outfit is so cute. I love the dress. It's just so gorgeous, it's so comfortable, it fits really beautifully, but it has so much stretch to it. So you just really can't go wrong with this one. The bow is so cute. I've just done a really rough recreation of what I did the other night. I didn't have my hair curled, but now I'm looking at it. I really like it with like a wave in my hair. It feels that little bit more 80s as well. The big earrings, the shoes. Oh my God, the shoes. They just make the outfit. It's so over the top, so like maximalist, but almost simple at the same time because we're just working with black and silver tones so there's not too much going on but just enough for this to be like ridiculously over the top cutesy festive and i love it i just absolutely love it like i've never felt so good in an outfit ever like if i could wear this every day if i had to build a cartoon character of myself she would be wearing this it would work really nicely with the long white coat as well um i'll throw it on quickly but i really don't want to get the fur on the velvet. I spent about a year lint rollering, but yeah. It's a little vibe, I really like it. Another dress that would look fab with a bow in my hair as well and sparkly shoes is this one from Zara. I thought I'd pick this one out. This is like the Christmas party dress. This is not a wedding appropriate one unless your bride says, yes, please wear black. But so, so cute, so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's just really fun. It gives me real 90s vibes. So I would go very 90s vibes like with the hair as well. This could do the half up, half down look that the previous dress was also styled with. Maybe even a sparkly hairband, but definitely either a pair of gorgeous black velvet shoes or oh, just black shoes in general or a pair of sparkly shoes as i like to pair it with it's just so fun so cute it's real like christmas party vibes to me this dress is just christmas this dress i just love sadly i could have got a size down it actually does like gape a little bit at the back i don't know if you can see so definitely it could have sized down but it's such a lovely cute little comfortable dress i am obsessed with it the first time i wore it i wore it with this bag and these mac and mac shoes i didn't wear a hairband with it so i've got this little hairband from ted baker i did have one like this from zara but sadly i've lost it but anyway i love these big headbands i just think they are so fun i think it works really really nicely with this look because you have the little sparkly cutouts on the side it just ties in so well with the shoes as well the bag works really well because it is all black velvet just like the dress everything ties in really nicely together but you could just go without the hairband 
and keep things a little bit more simple. This is basically how I wore it the first time, just with more of a curl to my hair. And it was just so fun. Such a nice, cute little outfit to have. It could also work really nicely with my black velvet bow too. So lots of options with this one. This one could also work really nicely with the coat as well. I mean, I think it will work nicely with the coat. See, the coat, she is versatile. I love this coat. That's why I couldn't get rid of this coat when I did my coat clear out. It's been on my Depop rail for ages and it has not made its way onto Depop. Then we have this dress from Zara, which is just a really beautiful, long, I would say this is meant to be midi length, but on me, you know, it's gonna be longer for anyone that's new here, five foot two. It has adjustable little spaghetti straps, which is fab. My chest is shorter, so I really love an adjustable strap. I think it helps to just bring the whole dress up a little bit and make it sit at the right points. It's got a zip fastening on one side, so it's gonna hopefully really cinch in at the waist. I actually haven't tried this one on yet, but I'm really excited to. And rather than being that really bold emerald green jewel color, this is like a really beautiful, almost like muted forest green. It is so so lovely this is one of those ones that i would have in my wardrobe for years and years and years i just think it's absolutely stunning and the drape detail is really gorgeous on it i feel like we've got real matching the christmas tree vibes going on here now this dress i actually really really like these silky slip dresses can basically go one way or another for me sometimes i love them and then sometimes i'm like this just really isn't looking right one thing that i do find really helps which is so very annoying is that going braless with these looks better than wearing a bra which is so unrealistic for so many people it's very annoying i wish they would just add a little bit more material sometimes so that it sits better even with a bra because what i found when i was wearing a bra was that it almost like filled it out too much and sizing up to solve that problem basically would just leave you with way too much material over your waist and hips and it would all just fall a bit flat so very annoying but if you are prepared to put up with that this is a great option the color is just just incredible. I've just gone with my sparkly Zara shoes and my big bougie sparkly earrings just because I think this look can really take that extra bit of glitz. Such a gorgeous simple dress and then I've just paired it with my YSL black clutch to keep this look a little bit more low key but yeah it's a really nice little dress not too tight not too fitted but still shows off the silhouette. It's got the lovely little leg slit which I really like and the adjustable straps like I said which are great and yeah I'm just beyond obsessed with the color the next one probably won't suit a lot of different tastes but i wanted to throw it in as a great winter option this one is great for both christmas parties but also if you were doing a winter wedding this one would be really really lovely as well it's got a little bit of pattern bit of texture it's not black so it could work really really nicely it comes off a lot more like black on camera but it's like really gold in real life it's got a lovely high neckline a really gorgeous like ruched detail along the skirt it is fairly thin but i found the material of it kept me very very warm it's got a long sleeve zip back and it's just ruched on the back as well it's a really lovely one i got this in size size did i get this in i actually can't find the label i think it was a small if not it would definitely have been a size eight because i generally pick an eight in all saints and it fits really really well so i would say it's definitely very true to size honestly i never would have thought it but here i am giving you an outfit option with tights in the uk we're meant to have a very very cold winter this year so i feel like it's time i get reacquainted with tights because i love dresses and i don't really want to spend the rest of the winter in jeans so um yeah me and tights and thermal tights and layering are about to get very well acquainted but yeah this is the all saints dress this is another great one for fitting a little thermal layer underneath the thermal long sleeve top will do bits for you with this outfit you could even go thermal tights on the bottom as well i've paired it with my asos chunky croc boots i really like these they're very all saints vibes so they go really well with the dress and then i've just got my ysl clutch as well and for earrings i've gone for the little sparkly hoops and i would just leave my hair down with this look because i think it's kind of like that effortless little kind of like almost grungy vibe that all saints do so very well but you could also go for a slick back bum with this look and that would look very very cool as well this one you could go either way with really i love this it's got a lot of fluff on it so we're just going to ignore that i'll get rid of it before you see it in full but this is a really beautiful one from pretty little thing and again high neckline structure on the shoulders like these shoulder pads are epic shoulder pads long sleeve a little sash at the waist and then like a ruched bottom half the skirt is longer so it is almost like that midi maxi kind of point on me it hits like my calves so quite long on me but it would be a really nice midi if you are taller you could also do tights underneath this and then like a boot you could do like a longer boot as well if you wanted to and i just love the tone of it it's like that deep emerald 
tone really really beautiful like it's almost black but it's not it's just absolutely stunning i love the way the light catches it it's really really beautiful this dress i love it it's so fun it's so comfortable it's very very warm i literally can't find a fault with this dress i've just styled it up in the same way that i styled the off shoulder black dress it felt a little bit 80s with the shoulder pads the velvet the ruching so i felt like the same accessories would be perfect for this one too and i really like it you could go as simple or as fun as you want with this dress because it is quite minimal in the way that it's cut and the detail on it i feel like you could go really minimalistic with it and very very chic or you could go really fun very feminine very festive as i've done it's a real versatile little dress but a beautiful color it's such a gorgeous tone i absolutely love it i think this will be one that stays in my events wardrobe for years and again that one you could either keep very very minimal or jazz up you can generally go either way with a lot of these i think they're really great versatile dresses but finally i have some wild cards and this is a look that i love and i really wanted to add in especially if you do have a winter wedding or you like to be a bit more covered or you're just not a dress girl now my selects aren't necessarily going to be the best for a winter wedding. However, hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will have found a version of this in a color because I actually used to own a version of what I'm about to show you in a really beautiful blue tone, but unfortunately haven't been able to find it yet in time for this video. But without chatting on too much, I have got the most gorgeous blazer in a crushed velvet from Zara. I actually have a couple of versions of this. If you don't love a crushed velvet, they do it in a non crushed velvet as well this is beautiful very like oversized i got it in a size small definitely could have done an extra small in this but i love the oversized vibe and then we have the matching trousers as well <sighs> these are so gorgeous but that for a winter wedding if you want to be warmer if you want to be a bit more covered if you don't like wearing dresses is such a fab option and one that i think is really overlooked and also one if you don't want anything too fitted for whatever reason as well so this option i love it's never going to be anyone's favorite because it just doesn't wow you in the same way that like some of the other dresses do. However, it's so practical. It's warm on a night out. You don't have to worry about like a food baby. It's so comfy. There are no cons about this kind of look for this time of year and it's still so festive. You could wear it open with a nice little bralette underneath. I've actually got a bralette on underneath this, but to be honest, my days of like having the jacket open, they've been and gone. They've been and gone. I don't want to do that look anymore. I really like this kind of like slouchy, really cash, oversized look. And the great thing about having the blazer shut as well is that I can roll up the top of the trousers so that the leg length is actually okay on me. The leg length is definitely much longer. I would say if you're average height or above, it's definitely an option to look at. If you're smaller, you are going to need to look into either rolling the top of the trousers over or taking the leg length up because it is running very, very long. But yeah, it's a really lovely option for this time of year. Really warm, I am actually overheating right now. But yeah, we also have the same blazer in this kind of like muted, this isn't actually a black, it's almost like a a brown. I don't know if you can see, like I'm, I'm wearing black and this is actually, it comes off slightly different. It's almost like a brownie gray off black, so up to you whether you think you can chance this one for a wedding but again it has shoulder pads this one is more minimal in terms of the design it doesn't have the sparkly button and it has again the matching trousers these ones are a little bit thinner i would say than the previous pair the crushed velvet is definitely it always tends to be the way of the crushed velvet it's very thick and heavy so it will definitely keep you warm but i think these would equally keep you just as warm you can kind of see that color difference with the trousers really really beautiful such a lovely tone just something a little bit different which i think is really nice okay so just showing you guys that sometimes things really don't work so this is the suit in the off black color it's very very oversized and the trousers are low rise so i can't roll the trousers up they're also 100 percent too big being a small so i would definitely size down in this whole look the trousers are just so ridiculously long that i'm actually standing on my tiptoes like fully like ballerina toes on my tiptoes right now it's still not helping so yeah if you're taller you're gonna love this one it's a great option if you're shorter <laughs> stick it. so yeah those are some lovely options if you just aren't really into festive dresses or wedding guest dresses specifically i do think an oversized suit is so chic and such an amazing option and you can wear like if you really want to be more covered for whatever reason you can wear a black roll neck underneath or if you really wanted to go really bougie find one of those kind of like i saw someone wearing one from asos recently i think it was chloe jade and she was wearing like almost like chain sparkly top underneath you could find like a high neck version of that that isn't like see-through and pop that underneath the blazer and that would be so cool 
simple or even just a simple shirt underneath would still be so gorgeous so you definitely have a lot of options when it comes to a suit i think they're very very fun so that is going to be it from me today i hope you've enjoyed this little festive dressing try on i hope you're doing really really well and i will see you guys again very soon Bye -bye.